Let's talk pop-up tents. So we got into pop-up tents, I wanna say about a year into the business. I was looking through Facebook and I was looking at everybody, how they were making money with big tents, right? But we were kind of afraid to get in those big tents because we had no idea what we were doing. So we decided to pick up some pop-up tents from Amazon and figured why not try it like that. Now pop-up tents are a money maker. I would highly suggest you get into pop-up tents as soon as possible. You can combine those pop-up tents with chairs and tables and trust me, the money is gonna start rolling. Now there's a few things that you need to know before getting into pop-up tents. Now these pop-up tents are lightweight tents. So they're not gonna necessarily protect you from rain and downpour. So make sure that when you're renting these tents out, these pop-up tents, that you let the customer know. Uh, put it in your contract, put it on your website or whatever and let them know, hey, listen, this is a lightweight pop-up tent. They're really just meant for shade and kind of to cover your food and for a little bit of protection. Now, by doing that, you're gonna make sure that the customer doesn't set their expectations too high. So it's not one of those moments where you show up with a pop-up tent and they're like, oh, wow, this is what I'm getting. But one of the things I love about the pop-up tents is it's a one-man job. You can set up a 10 by 20 pop-up tent all by yourself. JD does it all the time. They're really easy to set up. Now, one thing that you should keep in mind is that you have to ask the customer where you're setting up. You wanna know if it's gonna be on grass or if it's gonna be on gravel, if it's gonna be on concrete, because if it's gonna be on concrete or gravel, you're not gonna be able to stake it down. Now, when we set up our pop-up tents, we use these spiral tie-down stakes. They work great. We got them off of Amazon, and I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can check them out. But what you do is you just screw them into the ground, and then you use a ratchet strap to kind of secure the tent. However, if you're setting up on concrete, you're gonna wanna make weights. We ended up making our own weights. Uh, these weights are about 100 pounds each, between 80 and 100 pounds, but these are perfect. Now, another thing that you have to do is, the day of the event, always check the weather. Always check how much wind you're going to have. These lightweight tents are rated up to 15, sometimes 20 miles per hour. So I wouldn't suggest pushing that. So we usually use one block per leg. Now if we're in the city, we use one block per leg. That's because the wind is kind of, it's not as strong in the city because usually it's blocked by all the buildings. But once we go out into the country, uh, once we go out to an open field, we'll use two blocks per leg anywhere from eight to 10 miles per hour. Some of you might say it's overkill, but trust me, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now, if you wanna see how I make these blocks, click on this link right here. Quick disclaimer, if you go watch this video, I did use olive oil. You can use any oil. That's all I had at the moment. I didn't feel like going anywhere. And it's a tax write-off, so I'm not really worried about it. Now, our first tent, I got off Facebook Marketplace. It was like one of those last minute purchases where a customer had inquired about one. I hopped on Facebook Marketplace, saw somebody selling it for $50, and we rented it out for $75. Now, our second tent was a 10 by 20 pop-up tent, which we got off of Amazon. Again, link's gonna be in the description. But that one we rented out for $125, and we still keep it at $125, but that's without the sides. So if a customer wants the sides, we'll add those on for $50, and that's all four size. Now once we started getting comfortable with the pop-up tents, I started looking into more bigger commercial size tents. I found out that high peak frame tents are easy to set up, and you can charge a good amount of money for them because they're so popular. Now there's a little bit more involved when it comes to those type of tents, especially when it comes to safety, but I'll talk about that more in another video. Hey, listen, if you just started your party rental business and you want to grow alongside with us, I promise you I'm sharing all the tips and tricks that we're learning along the way just so that you don't have to make the same mistake that we made and that you can start and grow your business much faster than we are. Learn from our mistakes, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell just so that you don't miss a beat.